Hey everyone, Sam from United People's TV, here with Dan Townley again to run through, well we still haven't come up with a name, it's not really the big debate anymore, I suppose you can call it a final word on the weekend. Talking points? Talking points, that's very dull. Oh come on, it's what we're doing. I know, I know we're literally talking, but come on, I, we'll do a brainstorm this week and actually come up with a decent name, but it's, it's effectively replacing Monday, Monday Night Live really, who needs that when you've got me and Dan? Yes, No. Apart from everybody. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's a bit of a miserable thing to talk about, but let's talk about the weekend, really. It was no. a shit weekend for United all round. Sunderland, Arsenal winning, Spurs winning. The only saving grace you've got City who lost, uh, which means we're still only six points off that top four. But what do you think? Let's start with the Sunderland game, really. Where do you start with that shower of shit? It was awful. Absolutely painful. I That's mean, all there is to say. Game okay, over. Sorry. Sunderland are nineteenth, and they made us look like we were nineteenth in the league. It, it, we we were genuinely, the, I think, not the worst game I've seen us play this season, which says a lot about how bad the season's been. But fucking hell, it was painful to watch. Ridiculously painful to watch. Yeah. And like you said, Sunderland were the better team. Like, you, you can't even go, oh, they got lucky. They yeah, I know. You, you can't just say, oh, yeah, you know, we, we lost. We got beaten. We got smashed by square. Sunderland. Played off Sunderland. The it's shit. embarrassing, really. I mean, if you look at the first, I said this in a match reaction, you look at the first 20 minutes against Chelsea in comparison to the first 20 minutes against Sunderland, completely different teams. Mm -hmm. But the core of that team was the same side who beat Derby 3-1, uh, smashed Stoke 3 0, got a good point away at Stamford Bridge, and then that happens. <sighs> it's, it's, what, what, what changed? <laughs> what, what's, what's changed between those games and this game to cause that sort of performance? I wish I knew. I wish I knew. There was just no creativity at all. I think um, we've got obviously we're going to talk about it in a bit, but Martial was the only saving grace for that whole game. I think Juan Mata played okay, yeah. like he, he inadvertently set up uh, Martial's goal, but. There was there was nothing. There was no creativity. It's like we didn't want to play, and it was. It, like you said, you said before, it's embarrassing to watch now. But I said in the last video, we've become accustomed to this. Shite. I, I wasn't surprised. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not it's not a surprise anymore. It happens. We accept it. Uh, it obviously, it's frustrating. We can talk about it, but nothing's being changed. The, yeah. the fans have shown unrest. The, the players aren't getting the results. Even the manager has come out and gone, ah, well, let's hope we're in the Europa because we ain't getting in the Champions League." What, what is going on? How is this acceptable at Manchester United? I mean, how? I mean, how? I don't know how Van Hal's still manager, in my opinion, but I mean, from the board's perspective, it must be the fact that we're still chasing that top four. But then you touched it's, on it it's, there. It's the Moyes thing all over again, isn't it? It's, um, it's, Moyes was in his job until top four was mathematically impossible. Do you think until, that's the case here? Really, the, the I, think, as, I think as soon as we're out of the FA Cup, as soon as we're out, well, he's got, he's got the saving grace of we're in the Europa. Yeah. So as soon as we're out of the Europa, FA Cup, as soon as fourth is mathematically impossible, then that's when the board will go, hang on, maybe he's not the one for us. But if, if they looked at this, and we mentioned this in, in the other video, I think everybody who has got a voice and an opinion about Man United has said the same. He should have gone in December yeah. when it was terrible. It was the worst football I've ever seen Manchester United play in my 23 years alive. It was, it was dire. And we should have yeah. got rid of him then, but we didn't. We're stuck with him now until this happens because... I mean, if, if we do change, if, if by some luck that Ed Woodward and the board want to go, yeah, actually, no, he's not for us. It's too little too late. It just shows the inexperience of, of well, well, what's the point Ed of waiting? I, I don't exactly. understand the point of waiting. I, th I think it, it, the, the only counter-argument you've got here is would Mourinho want to come in and try and save this season when if it fucks up, it then falls on his head? It's, would, he, would he want to come in as, a, as, a, as an interim manager? Or would he sign the contract now and go, I'm here till 2019, however long or however you know, big this, this, this contract's going to be, that he's pr almost certainly going to sign at the end of this season. Yeah. I think that's going to happen. It's just a matter of you know, when. Yeah, when. I, I see it now as a when and not if. And again, that brings back to my point, saying why the fuck is Van Hal still here? Yeah. Because hearing him, I mean, we're six points off fourth. Yes, it's tough. We still mm -hmm. play City. We still play Leicester, we still play Arsenal, we still play Spurs. Every team above us, we still play. So it's still in our hands, effectively, because they're going to fuck up. 
Uh, they've still got you to play. So. Spurs have still so. got to play Arsenal. Um, I think Arsenal still got to play City as well away. I'm not sure on that, but all is not lost. Yeah, it's not looking likely, but we're six points off it. Had we beat Sunderland this weekend, we would have been three points off City in fourth. Let's 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 say it this way: If City were top and we were second and we were six points away, would we be sat here and going, "We could win the league"? I don't think we would. I don't. I, I think we've got City. You know, are a much better team at the minute. I know that's a good way to put it. You, you go, course, United could always win. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I would. The way City are playing, I don't, I don't think we would. No, and City are playing bad. Like, We've had two bad games the past couple of games. Fair yeah, enough. Look, like, look, look, to, look at the year up. when we lost the, the league on goal difference. We had like eight point lead with, was it four games left? Oh, yeah. And then we we fucked that. I've just forgotten that from my memory. Yeah, that season doesn't For exist. Sake, Sam. Sorry, mate. But uh, that's <laughs> what I meant. It's the football. It's, yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah. it's fucking unpredictable. Before this, this weekend against Sunderland was the first time. First time I was genuinely confident going into a weekend of football. Thinking, yeah, United against, and then they do that. <laughs> and that, to be fair, I think this is what Van Hall has done to me. I'm now just going. We're not going to win anything. We're not just give up now. Six points. That's far too many to pick up. Uh, but I, I agree. Like I coming into this game, I was like a Saturday match. Yes, looking forward to it. Early kickoff. Let's see in the weekend with a win. <sighs> Kick started a fucking shit week. It was fucking dire. Seriously, and then to top it all off, Valentine's Day massacre from Liverpool, who now think they're the best team in Europe because he put, scored six past fucking Villa. Yeah, you've got Arsenal winning with Danny Welbeck scoring of all people to score the winner you just to get them closer to winning. Danny Welbeck, and then you've got fucking Spurs, which is like we're still here, guys. We might win it. Fucking bullshit weekend. <laughs> Fuck. Forget football. Fuck it all off. I'm going to support tennis. Who's the best <laughs> tennis player? Fuck them. Forget. Football shite. <laughs> Sorry. I enjoyed that. Yeah, cheers to that, Dan. But anyway, That's moving on. Moving we blood pressure. To, yeah. Well, what I was wanting to catch on there was Van Howe's change in approach. Before the Chelsea game, he said the United could still win the title. Two games later, he's now saying the top four is more likely by winning the Europa League. Man's a prick. Sell <laughs> it than that. He's, changed, he's very changeable. You know, for a man who's so strict on his philosophy and his ideologies he's within two games he's gone from we could win the title potentially still to we can't finish top four what? yeah does he know what he's, what, what's going on I mean I for, for me that is a that's a, sack, that's a straight sackable offence because yeah, yeah. Given, given the context not saying it always would be but for a man who is basically relying on getting in that top four for a Champions League spot mm. to still be in his job to then turn around and say you know what six points behind City it's not going to happen, lads. Sorry. So that's what happened. Van Hall's infected me. That's how bad it is. I'm positive as they come, but Van Hall's even infected me. Uh, but yeah, I agree. Like, you see you see the point against Chelsea and then you lose to Sunderland. To be fair, any loss to Sunderland, we deserve to be relegated. Yeah. So, if anything, I can kind of sympathise with him. He's gone, you know what? Send us down to the Championship. Fuck them. Well, at least well, that's, we'll win that's something. That's the police coming there for Van Hall. Do you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully they're fucking arrested. Because the, the man football, with, uh, Honestly, the, the, football is, the football is criminal. It is, it's... For a team to be so Jekyll and Hyde, it's, it, we're mirroring Liverpool this season. We laugh and we piss at them, but we're literally copying what Liverpool are doing. We are risking becoming a Liverpool. That is just... And that's said with the nicest heart in the world for our Liverpool friends. Uh, but we, we are going to become, like there's very much, if we don't sort it out quickly, there is a risk that we will become a Liverpool. And then we'll be sat, you know... Um, spitting like venom at people who dare to mention the Premier League going well we've won it 20 times fuck you like, and, and that would be our thing is that we have won it 20 times more than any other English team That and I don't want to become that I want to keep on winning um, but so it, the way it's going we are becoming a Liverpool and, and there's no way to disguise that unfortunately which again for me is like is, is the major reason why someone like Mourinho has to come in next and not gigs because yes. I personally think this managerial replacement is more important than replacing Fergie because mm -hmm. I think that was a poison chalice. I think whoever came in there would have struggled and yeah, it would have been nice to carry it on but it didn't and three years down the line we, nothing much has changed. We've lost a bit of our identity right. but now we're at a crossroads where if we go one way we go back to winning the last mm -hmm. three years are a blip. If we go the other way and we make that a six year period that's hard to recover from. Yes, very much so. Very, kind of hit the nail on the head. We, it needs to change and quickly and everybody can see this everybody in football can see this some people won't want us to change because they will want us to see 
Well, one, it, it's, it's become you know we're like Rodgers yeah. at Liverpool, Moyes at United. Team exactly. play, fans of other teams do not want that manager to leave because they can see the manager is holding them back and yeah and being the shackles and it's and it's great fun to poke and laugh at. Yeah, but it's, that's what that's what United have become. You've become a fucking laughing stock. It's a and scary position to be in. It's very scary. <laughs> very I mean, scary what, position to be in. Obviously, we've got some positive news today. It is positive. Uh, they're renaming the South Stand uh, Sir Bobby Charlton Stand. Rightly so. Let's look at this with a cynical point of view. You know, it's not as if Bobby has just popped out the corner. Why are you announcing that now? I mean, yeah. it does seem a bit, let's get the fans back on our side. And then Pretty I've, I've so. seen a, a couple of people suggesting, because obviously Bobby Charlton's part of the old guard, him, Fergie and Jill, there's the reports of a few weeks ago were saying that they didn't want Mourinho in as manager. Yeah. Is, that, is that sweet enough for Bobby? I can imagine that's definitely something Manchester United would do. <laughs> We're going to bring Mourinho in, but we'll fucking name a stand after you. How is that? <laughs> Fuck it. You know what? You know what? We'll even name a meal after you in the Red Cafe. How is that? <laughs> so Bobby Bobby's Burger. Burgers. Fuck it. We'll have you. <laughs> Just to bring Mourinho in, we'll have Bobby's Burgers in this, uh, you know, <laughs> fucking chart and stand. But yes, it, it's very strange timing. I, mean, I, I completely agree oh. with it. Having Sir Bobby and Sir Alex with a stand and a statue each, deserved, absolutely deserved. Just seems very... Strange to pop that out yeah, on a Monday morning. I can't think morning. of anyone better deserves a stand, to be fair. Yeah. Um, but like you said, it is far too convenient for, uh, for, for for them to do it after we've just lost to, to Sunderland. And there's all this talk of the unrest at United with the manager kind of, you know, not being the best. Yeah. It's, it's, it's far too like... convenient to just go, have that, guys. There you go. Have that bit of positivity in your lives. And you're like, no. Please just give up. <laughs> it, 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 it does. It feels like a press release. Um, yes. Yeah. I'm not going to slam it down because I do agree no, with that. I, I think it's, it's a great idea. Probably deserves it. As you said, it's very much a sweetener to go, we're sorry. <laughs> have this, we're sorry, have this, yeah, Have this spoonful of sugar to help that <laughs> Mourinho-sized medicine go down because uh, we ain't changing it. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know, we've got, uh, obviously got Midget Land coming up. Yeah. We've got Shrewsbury away and then Midget Land away. Sorry, Midget Land at home and then we've got Arsenal at home. Glamatise, really. I mean, what, what do you expect to see from the rest of February, really? Midgets. Lots of That's midgets. What I expect. Lots midgets. of Danish midgets. Lots Danish of, yeah, midgets. lots of them. Uh, giving his presents to Bobby Charlton as another gift <laughs> <laughs> for Mourinho coming in. Just a team full of midgets. No, uh, what do I expect from United? Heartache, uh, pain, sadness. Surely you've got to be looking at these three games saying three wins. Yeah, I would be, normally. Uh, but we've normally. still got Van Hall. <laughs> so I wouldn't be surprised if we bent over in front of shows and go, go and take us how you want us. Because we don't give a shit anymore. I mean, the, the, if... you're looking at Van Hall saying that Europa League is our biggest chance of winning, of getting a Champions League spot. We're in the mm. round of 32. We're going to have yeah, to yeah. win two. Still, 32. Four, and then round of 16, Ridiculous. then the quarters, then the semis. They're all going to be two leg affairs. That's eight games. To yeah. get to the final, yeah. and they're Thursday night games. I mean, we're going, we're going Holland, we're going, sorry, Denmark this time. We could be going, going to fucking Azerbaijan in a round of sixteen or whoever. Who doesn't want to go to Azerbaijan on a Thursday afternoon? Oh, it's, it's brilliant! I can't wait. I They've got great lakes there. Go for a dip. And in the mix of that, we've got to go to Shrewsbury as well. Fucking shit all. So it's just not helpful, is it? It's. I mean, United are making it as hard for themselves as possible when it could be a far simpler equation. You look at Van Hal's record against the top seven. Is a credit to him. Flip yeah. it, his record against the bottom seven is diabolical. <laughs> it's just upside it's, down. It's it, ridiculous. It, it's, it's pure madness. I mean, there's nothing at United is really making sense anymore. There's, you know, with Van Howe, you know, I was patient, patient, patient in November because I knew he was working towards something. I could see mm-hmm. that he had an end goal in mind and he had like his 100 day plan. He's like, right, I'm going to get there by doing X, Y, and Z. And it was working. The, resu- the results were there, the performances weren't. You were thinking, right, if we're winning whilst playing this bad, imagine what we'll do when we start playing well. You know, you saw that Everton away, that was a that was a mint game. But we hit December and then since then it's just like United's been deflated and haven't been able to recover. There's been full storms, a lot of full storms this season. Yeah. Um but I don't think any more full storms are gonna change anything. If we go and beat Arsenal, if we go and win the next four games that again will you know yeah. give a little bit more life into it, but it's like you can't pump, you know, you can't give enough CPR to get United back to life at the moment. It's just 
we're, there's we're, nothing which is going to turn the season around. You, you're flogging a dead horse at the moment, and that's why yeah. I don't understand why we're sitting in limbo, waiting with Van Gaal in charge, other than the fact that Mourinho doesn't want to take over until the summer. Yeah. And if that's the case, then we're not going to I mean, get... I don't think we'll get Champions League next year. No, I mean, well, it's, it's, it's only February as well, you've got to remember. And <laughs> whilst it would be more beneficial for United to get rid of him now because we need, we need that new style of playing. We need that, that confidence that's disappeared yeah. through Van Gaal. We need that confidence back. But to, to kind of... We've mentioned it before, but as a positive, we are still in the FA Cup. And yeah. that is... You know, um, you've got Chelsea playing Man City. So one of what we perceive as our big rivals is yeah. going to be out. That, that's, that's what we can look at. And we have a real chance of winning the FA Cup this year, Bit which would time. be nice. Bit which would be time. nice. Um, and the way we've been playing in the cup, you know, that's that's not out of the question. But that's not enough to appease the fans. I don't think we need Champions League football at Man United. We went a season without it. And it was the worst season ever. <laughs> Being the average season, just going, ah, oh, no, no European football. Well, it, it's, it's all right. It, it, can it, concentrate it, on the league. If you look at two out of three of United's last three seasons, they're complete and utter write-offs. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to fucking buy the highlights DVD this season. <laughs> I definitely didn't buy it for more years. And it's just, are we that fucking bad without Fergie? Really? I know. It's, it's ridiculous that we're in this position because we knew we wasn't going to last forever. And... It just it's just behind the scenes stuff as well. And we mentioned this last week, the behind the scenes side of it. Yeah. We didn't plan we didn't plan for Fergie to to, to finish his career. We we were like, well shit. We were expecting to be around forever. Yeah. Let it's him just... decides. Let him decide who's gonna follow him. David Moyes, that was a great idea. You know? It's it's just we didn't plan and Mourinho arguably was available after after Mourinho Strides. would have come with his fucking suitcase, little hat on, like a tour. He would have been happy as Larry. That was his dream job. <laughs> he'd have been he'd have been stood outside selling the Jose Mourinho's club. Sorry, uh, yeah, Jose. I meant I said it right because I, oh. I saw a comment the other week saying <laughs> it's not Jose. Uh, so it's Jose Mourinho's cars. He would have been there selling them, ready, going, "It's me, it's me, guys." I'm here, I'm lads. Ready. Honestly, yeah. you don't need to buy yeah, a scarf yeah. anymore. Selfies, yeah. selfies. He'd have been there. You've got to think. So, something's going on behind the scenes. Something. Really dodgy is going to be on the scenes. Cost cutting, I don't know. Maybe, as you mentioned, there's people behind the scenes who don't want to see Mourinho there. Yeah. They were holding out for so long and going, look, Van Hall is probably the last chance <laughs> before we get him in. Yeah. Um, it, it's it's depressing to think that whoever it is back behind the scenes or whoever's there making the decision has let the club get into this position before getting somebody who will change it. Yeah. But, and it's it's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous that it has been left this long. And when you think about it, it has been three seasons, three, three whole seasons three, of shite. Three seasons of of what? Like there's there's you got Evra Evra against Bayern that was fucking wicked. Yeah. Um, beating Liverpool home and away, you know, doing a double double. Oh, that's been yeah. good. Yeah. Be, beating City at home. Yeah. There, there are some some good flavors. There's a couple of good memories, but they're saturated by the bullshit. Uh, yeah. And. Yeah. and the stuff you really don't want to remember. There's too much of that. It's like the, the tiny specks of gold flaking inside shit. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the best way to describe it. Is there's gold in there, but not enough. It's still a pile of shit. <laughs> you've got, you, you got, you got to be wading your way through it. Yeah, you've got to wade specs. through and have like an extremely good, powerful magnifying glass to see the tiny <laughs> bits of gold <laughs> through all of the shit that has happened at United. That's the way it's been. But, I mean... <laughs> For me, um, the season, it's, the season's not done, but... I think it is. <laughs> Can we just finish the season? Fuck them. I mean, we still play City with six points. But we, we're, gonna, we're chasing the tails of top four. Yeah. We finished fourth last year, invested a lot in the team, a lot in the squad, and we've gone backwards. Um, again, that's, that's an indication of failure as to what we're trying to achieve under Van Howe. I don't think it's salvageable now. I think no. if it if it was salvageable, we would have seen again. We would have seen it like Stoke, like Chelsea. We're thinking, hell yeah, we're starting here. Yeah. Then we go Sunderland, and it shows that it's not. <laughs> it, 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 there's no cohesion. There's there's no real <laughs> belief in the players. I mean, I, we're all laugh, we're all taking the piss out of Van Howe and pointing our fingers at Van Howe. Players have got to take a lot of responsibility for that as well. Oh yeah, the players are shite. But there's only so much you can do in the 
with the tactics that you're given. Yeah. And it shows their professionalism in a way. I'm not defending the playing staff because they are, you know, about as, as much to blame as, as Van Hal. Yeah. Um, but it shows their professionalism that they stick to the philosophy, to the tactics. Yeah. It looks like to the letter, despite how much it must kill somebody like Wayne Rooney to not, you know, well, I say smack him from distance. He hasn't been doing that for about three years anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But somebody like Mike Martial, who I imagine he's a, by far a standout player. And the, by some again, again, probably a bit bigger than a flake of gold. He is a, a nice chunk of gold of this, this shit that we faced. He's, he's unbelievable. And to have a player like that look so, you know, <laughs> look like he's been held back in a way. And the, the, the weird tactical changes or the weird formations that we're playing and the weird positioning of the players just confuses the shit out of me when yeah. you can see that some of them are glaringly obvious things that you could change. Yeah. And and this, obviously, while well, well, you can blame the players, but they they can only play in the positions in the, in the tactics that they get told to. Yeah. Or else it goes down in his little notebook and then he'll mention it, you know. It, it, and that's not, it's not how football should be run. And it's not how football should be played. And I think this this tactically rigid or this this kind of cocky way that Van Hall plays himself. You know, Rooney yeah. came out and said, we just need to take the shackles off. And, and Van Hall disagreed with him straight away. He's like, no, we don't. The way we're playing is, is quite fine. And then the next game, we fuck it up. Yeah. It's just, it, it's so painful to watch. And like we said at the beginning, we've accepted this now. We've accepted these... Well, because you know, it, you know, it's going to happen. You know, a loss now isn't surprising. Yeah, it really isn't. And it, it, that's the that's the biggest indictment of how United's identity has changed under these last three years. Yeah. We're now not fucking surprised that we've lost in the same season to to Bournemouth, to Stoke, to Southampton, to Sunderland. I don't. Not know. even trying as well. It was it was games where they dominated. It's not as if where we got unlucky. Yeah. Or they got ridiculous lucky with the goal. Is they outplayed us every yeah. game we've lost. We've been outplayed. Yeah, which says a lot about the season as well. That we don't even try. <laughs> it's yeah, I know. So pathetic. We, 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 it took we, us so long to score in the first half at Old Trafford as well. God. Was it 11 games? 11, 12. 11 games. games. It? it was a Stoke 11. game where we changed it around, and I thought, yeah, yeah, that yeah. was when I thought, you know what? He's fucking loosened the shackles. You could see yeah. we had less possession than Stoke that game. We sat back. We hit hard on the counter with pace. It was yeah. like this is United. What's going on? And yeah, then the like, counter attack goal was just. Old style Man United. Probably moment of the season. That that was just beautiful. And the finish from Martial was just a icing on the cake, really. Yeah. But again, it proved to be a full storm. And we're here complaining, moaning, because <laughs> you know we have we've got every right to because United are are continuing to elude this momentum that they seem yeah. to get, and they just let go of. They just don't want, and they have this like a happy. Uh, there, there's no point in trying to make any fucking sense of it anymore because. <laughs> You really, really can't. And until no. Van Howe leaves, I think we're going to be stuck in this cycle. I don't think we're going to get out of this under Louis. Um, yeah. I've gave him, I gave him plenty of chances. Uh, after, even after December, I think I lost it after the Stoke game, the two, <laughs> the, two the two nil away. I was like, you know, fuck it, we can't yeah. take this anymore. Um, I can't see past Mourinho, uh, and I'm a little bit worried that it's not going to happen until the summer. Mm-hmm. Uh, but. I suppose just let us know in the comments below what you think. I mean, there's plenty of shit to talk about. Not much positivity. A little bit of positivity and Sir Bobby getting a stand in his name. But what's the reasons behind that? Hmm. Suspicious. Suspicious. Wait, I'm like, telling you, wait till we get Bobby's burgers in Red Cafe. That's, <laughs> I'm having one of them. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's when we know he's been paid off for Mourinho to come. And we've got some Louis Van Hal slop for, uh, <laughs> for dessert. <laughs> <laughs> just a like, slop it on the table. <laughs> this is what United have been playing. Like Fuck prison it. porridge. Like just like... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like that. That's what's <laughs> going to happen. Also, obviously, a massive positive is Anthony Martial. Oh. Who is entitled to my firstborn if he so wants it. That's oh, how yeah. much I love him. Uh, he's, he, he's a standout player alongside De Gea. And I'm really, really scared about what happens when De Gea leaves. Yes. Because... Well, it's probably... I, I think it's going to happen. Why the, the fuck would he want to stay? Exactly. Imagine, imagine your day. You're going home. You say, it earned. You see that game today? Yeah, I was, I was minting goal again. We fucking lost again. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's just pretty much exactly that. You wait. Madrid will come in. That's it. And then when they were like Casper Schmeichel or something, that's what's going to happen. I tell you ben what, Jack Foster. Button looks good. I, I wouldn't mind Jack Button. He looks mint. But 
Uh, that's, that, that, that's a whole different conversation <laughs> together. But next week, who should United sign to replace David Gea? Did it do? <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to make sure we do this uh, every single Monday. Uh, we're going to release at seven pm, I believe. I don't we'll know. See. You're doing it. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you, we're releasing it at seven. We'll do it every single Monday. Uh, sort of a feature on the show now. A little bit of a longer video where we can have a longer chat about it. Uh, let us know in the comments below if there's anything else you want us to talk about or if you want to get involved. Um, there's always room for more. Mm. Always room. Uh, so subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. Uh, give us a like on the video. Always helps. Um, and thanks to Dan. No worries. Thank you very much for having me again. Again. We. Oui. Uh, and we'll <laughs> see you next Monday. And I'll see you during the week as well. So uh, take it easy, guys. All right. Awesome. That was good.